Good evening everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in tonight's free video we're reviewing two tickers that we've had a lot of commentary on and in Amazon you can remember that for the past this will be the third Friday video that I've spent a lot of time covering this one and we had the first Friday where we pinned at 1500 we had the second Friday where we repeated that pin and if you're following these free videos you'll remember that when I had commented on that second pin I said okay we had the pin at 1500 the pin at 1500 what happens next we exceed it to the upside on the next move now we've been playing that aggression in a couple of different ways in the chat and uh, today really fulfilled a lot of major targets when you look at this type of price pattern you can see that the major swing high against your major swing low has made an extension of this and I think that generally that's an important area to focus on taking profits at the same time there is no reason to not think that this won't head up into 1640 so I'm going to see how things open up next week, give Monday and Tuesday a little bit of time to settle in, but I'm definitely considering a pin in Amazon at one of three strikes. And admittedly, you know, on Friday afternoon, a week prior, it is a little ambiguous because I will need to see how the next week opens, but just keep those levels in mind. It's 1600 1575 and then if we happen to have some type of a down situation which I am not ruling out then you can flip that way of thinking and start to look at put butterflies and maybe play it back down to 1550 so we'll see how that unfolds but that's how Amazon has been trading for us this week if we come in in another name I've been looking at MU with you in these free videos for months now and it's really come through in a big way so in this type of a situation I look at it today and say alright this has been performing especially well for us but today it had a little bit of a pullback what can I look to do with this on Monday Tuesday of next week and how can I look at it with the outlook into earnings well what I would do here two things the first and what I think is probably the most simple to look at technically is the idea that I would like to buy the pullback down at the eight period exponential moving average it's a very general area you can see that it's worked well before and that's where I'd like to start pursuing the position if you'd like to take your analysis a step further this is one thing that I love because it requires no studies it requires no nothing at all other than analyzing previous price action so if we take our symmetry tool and we measure it to say alright there's a swing high to swing low what would that look like if we had a similar correction isn't this kind of a fascinating case study I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I think it's very much worth focusing on because look at the symmetry that would take you back down into 5232. Look at what the gap is from this move here, 5236. Come back in and add your studies to this and see where the 8 day is. So, you know, there's a pretty strong confluence of support there. I feel like if we flushed to 52 and a quarter, that would be a gift to buy, and I would be all over that trying to look to play the momentum into the earnings. Uh, into the earnings report. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you've been able to make some cash in those two names and we'll see you at the next free video.